So in this video, I'm going to go over the cat grade system and all these next gen machines. Uh, so on the home screen here, you would hit this button for cat grade. So you can uh, turn these on and off, set your target depth, which means this works just the same way as my Trimble system. So if you guys have seen any of those videos, so you can enter in a depth offset and here it's three feet. Obviously, I'm not going to dig in the road here, but you can reach out and you can benchmark. So where this little red dot is, is your bucket focus. So we've got it set on uh, the right hand side. And you can reach out, hit this button right here, benchmarks. And now it's telling you, you got three feet to go before you get to grade as you lift the bucket or curl, see it all adjusts. So this is a 2D grade system. It's not 3D, it doesn't know where you are in the world. Uh, you can use the laser catcher off of this. And that's out on the boom. And you can use it to swipe through a laser as a constant plane and use that to go across the job site. Basically, every time you move, you either have to swipe through the laser or you need to re-benchmark. Uh, but it does work pretty well. You can also go into here uh, do a slope so you could actually do a depth and a slope so you could do 2% and as you do this see that's going towards the machine if you go away it's going away so that's actually a 0.2% slope but there you go so now you're doing a three foot cut with a two foot or two percent slope uh, you can do a cross slope, so if you have a tilt bucket on, it can recognize that. Touch point is you basically touch a point on the ground. It's how you transfer, because the machine doesn't know if you change elevation. Um, so you, it needs a reference point. So Because you could set it for three feet here, right? But if we climbed up on a pile that was two feet high, it wouldn't know that your track elevation changed two feet. So you could touch a point and then move up on top of the pile and then touch the same point and it would know the difference in the heights because of all the sensors and it would readjust. Uh, so there's your laser here. You can change your bucket focus. I like to keep it on the left because you can mostly see it. And you can just do some settings here, tolerances, units. Um, so kind of cool. Um, so you can, this does 2D, then there's called 2D Advance, which you would get a the Trimble display screen, 10 and a half inch display above this. Um, and what that allows you to do is to put in profiles. That's the only thing that this can't do. Uh, and also this does currently not support uh, tilt rotator integration. It will recognize the tilt, but not the rotation part. Uh, my guess is that will be coming, so I would Depends when you watch this video, but maybe check with your dealer and see if that's supported or not. Um, and then also when you get that big display, that is how you go to full 3D. So this screen right here will not do full 3D. You gotta get the other screen right on top of it and you can upgrade to full 3D. So it's kind of nice. It's just upgradable. You don't have to like change all this out. Uh, works pretty well.